Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And I just wanted to quickly show you a quick little update with my germinations area here and show you what's going on. If I zoom a little bit back, you begin to see all of these nice little cups that I basically planted earlier today. These are all a mixture of different lettuces that germinated up above for me. Let me actually bring you in a little bit closer here. You can really see what's going on. You see all these tiny little lettuce seedlings down here, down below, that just germinated not too long ago. And I was actually really excited. I wanted to show you a few little things here. This is my rat tail that just germinated. And you see here, there we got three little rat tails. And I was so surprised this thing was basically only germinated a day or two ago. And look at the size of this root system right here on the bottom in a little two and a half ounce cup. And this thing was planted from seed on basically May 29th. So it's only been a couple of days old. And look at the nice little growth on it. It's already beginning to put on its first sets of true leaves actually. I could see down there in the bottom. And I'm really happy with, with uh, current growth and how fast this thing is growing. And I'm gonna actually keep all three of these plants in here. I was doing some research watching how this plant grows and it looks like it's okay to keep a few plants in together. What I may do is when I transplant this into its own system later today, like you see in my other videos, basically like my orange plant right here in its own little hydroponic Kratky system, which you see in my all my videos basically. That's what I'm gonna give, it, give this home right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the cucumber plant right here. And this is one of the cucumber plants, the earlier ones that I was talking about, that I was really excited about. This is a new cucumber variety that I'm growing. This is called a dragon egg cucumber. And I bought these seeds on rareseeds.com, I believe it's called. But I'll put the link down below just to make sure. And if, you, if you're anybody's interested in growing this. And I cannot believe how fast this thing is actually growing. It's already beginning to poke out right here on the bottom. Right, You can see the little roots right there right next to my finger here. And this thing is growing so fast and it was also planted on the 29th of May. But look at how fast this thing is growing. Let me actually bring it down below here. You could really see it better. It's already putting on its first sets of leaves right there. Well, it's first true leaf really because cucumbers grow basically one leaf at a time almost until it really kicks off and starts growing real quickly. But I just wanted to record this process and show what a dragon egg cucumber looks like when it's germinated for if anybody's interested in growing this and I noticed basically the center right there in the middle has a nice little light green color right in the middle of the the leaf same thing on this side and I think that looks really nice it's a nice little beautiful looking plant and I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cucumber and being that I have two in here I want to really maximize the growth and I'm gonna split this this cocoa core I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit today and split it up and make basically one container into two. So I'm gonna split this and make two containers and give each one its own home. This way I could really grow a ton of cucumbers. And if I basically bring you up a little bit higher up here, where I have my germination mat, I showed you earlier episode about what I was germinating. And if you look here, I basically transplanted all of the the lettuces that, that germinated here, it was the mixed lettuce. And I transplanted a bunch of the, the low rosa. The butter crunch didn't yet sprout, but I noticed over here, if we look, a bunch of these borage seeds started to sprout. And I actually transplanted two of them earlier today also. And I'm gonna wait for this. So for example, if I take this one right here, you don't wanna wait too long for it to come up because basically borage likes to start burrowing real quick and the root system grows very quickly so if we just carefully grab this and pull it out you begin to see the little root right there so what I'm going to do is transplant this into its own little system I'll just put that down for now and do it in a little bit after the video because I need two hands for that and we if we come basically over here to number eight let's look at the list what I have I have dill in number eight that's germinated nicely and you begin to see it starting to come up and the summer savory is doing really well over to the right I have a bunch of little plants that come up 
Now, I've actually planted way, way too many seeds for my grow space. Like, for example, look at all these lettuce plants right here. I basically planted about 20 plants right here. And this is just a mixture of low rosa and mixed lettuce. So this is definitely way more plants than I could actually ever grow in my system. It's going to take up way too much space. So what I'm going to do is basically just give a bunch of these plants away to a couple of friends and neighbors who I know who enjoy gardening. And if we come a little closer, you could really see what it looks like. Look at how tiny this little tiny lettuce is. And this is, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a little rosa. Yeah. And you could see that it's looking nice and a little green, really tiny. And sure enough, in about a week or two, you'll really see a significant amount of growth on this plant. And I'll record the process and show you how these plants grow. And we'll keep a little week by week process, but I just wanted to show you what's going on with the germination area and show you how things are doing. And soon enough, I'll have basically all of these plants right here germinated. And I noticed actually down here, also the, this should be thyme. Yeah, look at all this beautiful thyme that's starting to grow. And thyme grows really nice and compact, so it's you're, it's okay to put a bunch of seeds together in one little container. And also the same thing, I'm going to transplant this into its own system. The cilantro, however, is not has not yet come up. And same thing for the ground cherries. I'm still waiting for those to pop up, so that should be coming up really soon. But I noticed with the beans right here, these little wax beans, nothing came up yet, but when I actually being that I'm impatient and I move some of the coca core you could actually see right there the little bean sprout that spark that came up and it's starting to shoot out so I'll just put the cover that back up a little bit and that should come up probably in a few days so I'll definitely have some beans growing in my system so with just these three plants alone the cute, these little dragon cucumbers the rat's tail and these wax beans that's gonna take up a lot of space in my grow area so I'll show you how to grow a lot of plants in a small little area and yeah that's basically what I got going and you could actually see my little solar panel that this is a little solar air pump that I have charging underneath my t5 lights that seems to work quite well I tried to charge it under the LEDs but that didn't work at all and under these t5s it seems to work but it actually requires quite a bit of charge and it takes a little bit longer than it does if you just put it in the sun and the sun will definitely do a much faster job than these t5s are being that these are artificial lights but nonetheless it still powers it and recharges that little battery that it has in there so i'm pretty happy with a little free power so what i'm probably going to do is buy a second one and i'll have one running while the second one is charging and i'll keep switching it out and yeah, that's pretty much what I got going for you. And before I go real quick, let's actually look at the peppers. Look at all these beautiful peppers that are growing nicely. And you could actually see a couple of these peppers that I topped not too long ago. Let me quickly bring you in a little closer. And these are these little mini bell peppers that I topped. And you can see I left the only two leaves or three leaves on each one. And that's really all it needs and you could actually see all the side shoots are beginning to shoot out and it's putting on a lot of new leaf growth and i noticed in just about two three days of these of this pepper being topped the stem is actually starting to thicken up quite a bit and you see it's pretty thin and flimsy here so that's gonna really get nice and strong and a lot bigger so yeah things are going well in my garden right now and i couldn't really i couldn't be happier and you see back there got these 18 day radishes that should be coming up about in a day or two we'll take a look it'll be our 18 day mark and we'll see how it's going but i'm pretty doubtful that it has radishes being that it doesn't even have true leaves yet it's just starting to put it on so yeah that's pretty much all i got for you today and sorry it's a little bit of a long episode but i just wanted to show you quite a bit about what i got going on in my area and as always if you have any questions, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.